everyone and thank you for tuning in to Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings of the past week in the world of Warcraft. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do, remember to rate a thumbs up. A new build went live this week and while there were no new zones or dungeons ready for testing, Feral Druids are now available. This means there are only 4 specs remaining that cannot be tested yet and they are Brewmaster Monks, Frost Mages, Assassination Rogues, and Destruction Warlocks. Right alongside Cat Druids, some new models also hit the alpha. Warlock Succubuses or Succubi, I'm not really sure what the plural of that word is. The Lightning Warg, which is possibly associated with Beast Mastery Hunter's artifact weapon that summons a wolf companion spirit protector thing named Hati, Sheep, Stags, Doe, and the new Skeletal Warhorse model, which is possibly a Legion PvP reward. But no one really cares about the new models or the cat druids because also in this alpha build was a level 110 PvP realm that allows you to test the new Legion Honor system. When you make a character on this realm, it is automatically level 110, fully decked out in 810 PvP gear with a completely upgraded artifact. On this realm, you won't be able to access any of the Legion zones except for Dalaran, but you will have access to the new Legion PvP system. This means you'll be able to earn honor, increase your honor level, prestige, unlock your PvP talents, and allot them as you choose. The only thing you really can't do yet is actually earn PvP gear. Almost all of the battlegrounds are available for testing with the exception of Alteric Valley and Isle of Conquest. For now, you will not be able to test out skirmishes, war games, raided battlegrounds, arenas, or Ashran, but that is all subject to change in the future because it's an alpha. Just as a reminder for those of you who may or may not know or you forgot or it's just been a while, the Legion PvP system is very different from what we are currently experiencing in PvP now. Honor is no longer a currency that you spend on gear, instead it's kind of like PvP experience. As you gain honor, you'll gain honor levels, and as you gain honor levels, you'll access different PvP talents. Now at lower honor levels, you'll gain honor faster and you'll level up faster and it gets slower as you get higher honor level. Just experience works with character level. Here's an example of how it's working on the alpha right now. Remember these values are subject to change because alpha. Levels 1 through 10 will be 750 honor each. Levels 11 through 20 will be 875 honor each. Levels 21 through 30 will be 1000 honor each. Levels 31 through 40 will be 1125 honor each. And levels 41 through 50 will be 1250 honor each. So as of right now on the alpha in total, it takes about 50,000 honor to reach level 50. Of course, when you reach level 50, it means that you now have access to choose from all of your PvP talents, but what most people or people who really like rewards will do is reset their honor level to gain a prestige level, and every prestige level you earn gets you closer to cool vanity rewards, things like mounts, maybe pets, titles, who knows what else. Uh, as of right now, Wowhead has data mined a few things that could potentially be rewards tied to prestige and they include the prestigious war wolf and war steed mounts and a bunch of titles which I'm gonna put my name in as an example because <laughs> Lord knows this is the only time I'll ever have these titles and that is a uh, panzer patron of war panzer bound by honor legionary panzer panzer the unrelenting panzer the prestigious and the honorable panzer and uh Every paladin needs the title the honorable because that's that's just fantastic. Now the way gear works in PvP is very different than the way it works now. When Legion comes out in PvP, you'll have a preset set of PvP stats and gear will not be as heavily influenced, it won't heavily influence your play the way it does now. For example, uh, 25 item levels now might increase your performance by 25%, whereas in Legion it'll only increase your performance by 2.5%. Also in PvP content, all of your trinkets, set bonuses and legendary equips will be deactivated. I feel like it's worth mentioning that there are no specific PvP stats on Gear in Legion, but you can still earn gear through PvP. The gear that you earn through PvP in Legion is called Vindictive Combatant and Vindictive Gladiator. 
In Legion, the end of season rewards will be awarded separately to the top players of each faction, as opposed to the top players of the total player base. Also, the PvP seasons will be shorter, meaning more frequent rewards. For more information on Legion PvP, be sure to check out the links in the info below. And last up today is the thing that I am most excited to talk about, and that is that WoWhead has partnered up directly with Blizzard to bring you guys a discount code every month for stuff from the Blizzard Gear Shop. This month, the code is for 15% off of any plushie from the Blizzard Gear Shop, and the code is WoWheadP15. I've already used the code myself. I bought this little StarCraft Zergling guy, and I bought this little fairy dragon Brightwing, and it's so cool because her tail is really articulated and her wings are really articulated, and... My little zergling guy is eating her wing. So cute. It will also work on Pepe. But if you want some personal recommendations for me, I would stay. I would say. I wouldn't stay. I would say go for the Stitches plushie because he's super cool. He's kind of expensive, but he also includes the Heroes of the Storm legendary bikini stitches skin in game. So I feel like that's a that's a double dipper. If you're interested in him, you definitely want to get 15% off. Uh, there's also the Griffin and the Wyvern in game pets that have theirs plushies and they come with in-game pets. I, talking has gotten really difficult for me. I apologize. Also, the um, Abathur hat and the Zergling slippers are considered plushies, even though they're technically wearables. So if you're interested in those, now's a good time to get 15% off, which is a pretty good discount. Uh, like I said, I bought these two little guys. Pepe is also falls under that category, but there's a lot of cool stuff. So if you're interested, I'll have that linked as well in the info below. And that leads me right into today's question of the day which is what is your favorite plushie from the Blizzard Gear Shop? I think currently my favorite plushie is the little Carbot Animations StarCraft Zergling because he has a little pocket and you can put things in his mouth and I just think that's adorable. I, I set him up so he's chewing on her wing because <laughs> that's so cute. But let me know in the comment section below what your favorite plushie is from the Blizzard Gear Shop and when you think about your answer, check out our answers to last week's question. That's it for this week's Wowheads Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer. My YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed the video, please thumb it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and answer our question in the comment section below. Be sure to check back next Tuesday and every Tuesday for future episodes of Downtime Tuesday because Tuesday and also to see if your comment is in our featured section. As always, everything I talked about today is linked in the information below. I am going to go. I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful week and a wonderful life. I love you all. You're in my heart. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.